Hey Virgo, this is Nikki. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please be looking out for your uh, Virgo season daily readings. I put those readings out every day for Virgo season and it'll be whatever your birthday is, that's when you'll get your reading. Feel free to listen to all of them or just yours, it doesn't matter, okay? What does your boss think of your performance? Virgo, what does your boss think of your performance? Could be a you could work in the, the courts, a uh, public defender. You could be in a in a boss role yourself, like a leadership position. I feel like there's a lot going on here at work, a lot. And you know what? They can really de really depend on you. You're very dependable because you are the sign of service. But they really feel like they can really really depend on you. Okay, they really feel like they can depend on you. And you make them happy, you know. Um, there may be some conflicts of interest here, though. <laughs> really, um, you could be a chef or some sort of cook or something. Um, I feel like your person, your your boss is very stern. Okay, they are very matter of fact. They say what they mean, and they mean what the fuck they say. Okay, um, and they may not be likable. They may not be the most likable boss on the planet. All right, but I really do feel like. They know that they, in the, at the end of the day, they can count on you to be there, to be there, to be a strong leader for them. All right. Um, they're very happy with your performance, though, but it's some sort of decision here that I feel like they need to make about something or, or maybe they've come to a conclusion already. They're very happy. I feel like you stand, you have a way of standing out amongst others here at work. Um, you defend a lot of people, but do you need to, you know, do you need to? defend these people do you need to stand up for everybody else that's what you do all right um what is it here seven of cups seven of cups for virgo justice be a source you know there's there's some issues here with pain OK, um, with not seeing the picture clearly with I feel like you stand up for a lot of people. You really do. Um, and you may you may come to blows with your boss. There may be some energy around you not liking each other. All right. Differences in opinion, you know, something. What is this saying? Like everybody, everybody has an it's like an everybody is like an opinion. Your opinion is like a butthole. Everybody has one. OK. So you you don't like it's like you don't like each other, all right? Um, they can't personally fire you because they're they're though they are in charge, they can't fire you. So I feel like there there are some issues around jealousy. It's like people like like you more than they like them, all right? Because to other people you stand out, to other people you shine, to other people people you glow. You handle a lot of problems, you do a lot of things. You possibly do you're possibly better at your boss's job than they are at theirs, all right? Are you better at their job? Did I just say that <laughs> better? Because you do a lot of things for for your boss, okay? I mean, as you should, but you shouldn't be doing their, their job and yours too, all right? Um, I just feel like they know that everybody likes you. You know, you have a lot of positivity. You have a lot of people saying nice things about you, all right? It's like if you were food, you would be, uh, uh, you would be, what is that, that a steak wrapped in bread or something? Filet mignon. Okay, you'll be from if, if you were food, you would be a filet mignon, and there would be a bologna sandwich. Mm -hmm. And they are mad at you, Virgo. I should have never hired. I should have never hired Virgo. You know, Virgo think that they do this, or Virgo think that they can do that. Okay, Virgo think that they're the shit. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, but you know, you may move on um, really fast. This is some really, really fast energy. Or they may get fired, or whatever the situation is. It's like. What is it like a bull in a china shop? Everything breaks. Everything's gonna break down. Everything's gonna fall apart, you know, or whatever. If this person leaves, you may get their spot. I have the um, the 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 six of wands, but I also have here the the ace of wands, the ace of pentacles. So you may end up getting this person's spot if they leave. They may get fired. They may just, they just may say, "F it, I'm done," and quit, or move on, or retire. All right, and you may get their spot. So people really do care about you at work, and they know that you 
that you are a good person, a good worker. And I feel like if it was left up to them, you know, if everybody else, that you would get the starring role, that you would get the lead role. But, you know, but I just feel like there's some energy around your boss not really liking your energy. And that's because they are they are they are very selfish. You know, it's all about them. It's all about what how they used to shine. They're they're no longer shining because you you've kind of like taken that that shine away from them. And, and they don't like that one bit, Virgo. Mm -mm. They don't like it. Uh, I feel like they're going to try to to figure out a way to get you out there. They may give you write ups about stuff. They may constantly be on your back nitpicking you about some stuff. All right. They may give you a low uh, number on your yearly review that won't you won't get a raise at all or you'll get a very little one okay so they're 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 they're, they're obnoxious they're i'm hearing they're very very obtuse <laughs> very very obtuse okay, girl. yeah you 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 bring a strength that that this place has never had or that it hasn't had in a long long time you could also have some leo in your chart okay or since we're in the you know in the legos the end of Leo season, you could, you know, this could just be that you're in that energy right now. This is going, this is what you're going through right now. You're there for so many people. And the, the thing about it is you always are there for other people, but people aren't there for you. And people always have misunderstood you for something. For some reason, you've always been the misunderstood one. You've always been easy to talk to, like, like a therapist. Like I can talk to you, Virgo, about anything and you'll listen. You may not be the boss, but you need to be, you need to be the boss. You need to be the one in control. Okay. Because you're easy to talk to, you're easy to work with and people can rely on you. All right. You're very impartial when it comes to other people's feelings and emotions. You don't just say it uh, because you're the person in charge or or the next person in charge or whatever. I just feel like there's some energy around your boss really, really, you know, out of character. They're out of pocket a lot when it comes to not only you, but everybody else and their responsibilities. Just because you're boss, you're the boss, doesn't mean you don't have to work, all right? Doesn't mean you don't have to work. And that's, that's, there's a lot of growth here, a lot of growth potential around here for you to make more money. All right. And you make people feel good. You're easy to talk to. Eight of Pentacles. And you work hard. You know, you work hard no matter what it is you do. You work hard. You work hard. But your boss has a lot of hang ups. OK, a lot of hang ups. But it starts with them. It starts with it starts with their them knowing that their their capability is dwindling there. What they're doing there is dwindling. They're not. They're not respected anymore. They are, or at least they don't feel respected. All right. They have, they have a lot of hangups and it. That hang up starts with them, you know, and ends with them. It has nothing to do with you. It's just about their authority, what they're putting in and what they're getting out or whatever. But I definitely feel this energy is like, oh man, you know, they're tough. They're hard, hard nose, hard nose, pinched booty, booty, pinched booty person. Okay. Hard nose, pinched booty baron is what I just heard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you work very, very hard. See? Success. You work very hard. I would not be surprised if this person leaves or retires that you get their role. You get to be the person in charge. Because, you know, I don't I won't I don't want to say this person will get fired. I don't think they will, but they will get fed up and either leave or retire or whatever. Maybe they will, but maybe they'll be forced to leave and you'll be the person that's in charge. And, and this is the way it should be for you. You've worked very hard and you have really, really put up with a lot of shit, a lot of flack, but you've also been very successful and you, and you will be successful at this. Okay. That's almost a guarantee here for you that, that you are the strong person, that you are the passionate one that you deserve to be in charge because you've shown yourself so many times, helping so many people without even thinking about it, not even wanting anything in return, but you're going to get it. It's going to be very successful for you here. Very, very successful. But this guy or this woman who you're working with, they're not, they don't want you to have this glow. They don't want you to have the glory. They don't want you to have this success. They saw this in you when they hired you and they possibly like you before. But when you started outshining this person, they got mad and they got vindictive. Uh -uh, I'm not going to let you have that. Not if I have anything to say about it. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. But you bring, you, you bring a strength to the team and the company that they haven't seen in a long, long time. And that's something that you really, really have to be proud of. Virgo. How does your boss see you, Virgo? How does Virgo's boss see them? Hmm. 
the therapist came back out, <laughs> the emperor, and we got the ace of wands. Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like they wish they never would have hired you. <laughs> I really do. You know, and that's, I won't say that that's a bad thing, but they, you outshine them. That's, that's why they feel like they should have never hired you because you can do their job, like I said earlier, better than they can. And they don't like that. But you started questioning yourself, Charlie, after you got to know your boss, you started questioning yourself on whether or not you should stay. The high priestess, yeah, stay because you're go, you're going to go some places though. But I feel like this boss, whoever he or she is, whoever they or may they may be, I don't think they're going to be around too much longer within the next eight weeks, possibly. I won't say eight months, but you've possibly been there around eight months. But I don't feel like they're going to be there forever for a long, long time. I really don't. I think that eventually they're they're, they're just going to go because they're going to be very very sad at some point. They're going to be disenchanted about what they're doing they may look for another job and say you know what i just i can't do this anymore there's the number eight again you know so i just feel like they're just going to leave you know um they're they're not happy there anymore and because they see you climbing up the ladder and and they didn't think that anybody could do their job as well as you do as as well as you have done it all right they see you climbing to the ladder of success that's my motherfucking ladder who the hell you think you are okay so they're just going to get hit. They're just going to get fed up and they're just going to leave, walk away, whatever. And they're mad at you. <laughs> so they are mad at you because they see your highest potential. They see you doing stuff better than they ever could or ever would. You always go the extra mile. You don't have to be a hard ass boss. Okay. A hard nosed boss, but they are. So I just think that I don't think that they, I'm not saying that they don't like you as a person. They just don't like you as an, as an employee. Because they see your potential. Everybody sees your potential. Everybody sees your light, but you. But you. You got victory coming here. This is the Ace of Wands. This is you huh, on the motherfucking platter. Okay. So whatever it is that you're doing here, you may not even see how good you're doing, how well you are outshining that person in charge. All right. They see this. It's amazing. You're amazing. They know how amazing you are, and you are a threat to them. You are a threat to their equilibrium. So they're going to leave, and it's going to open a way. For you to be a boss, Virgo. All right. Hope these messages resonates. I will talk to you later.